What's the difference between this, 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 and this? And how did we end up with that? Stay tuned. That's what we're going to be reviewing today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at featured models and what impact it actually has on image generation. Now, let's hop over to AI image generation. And instead of just typing a prompt, what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Lexica. Now, if you're not familiar with Lexica.art, it is a browser filled with a gallery of images made from Stable Diffusion that you can just take the prompt for and they have a lot of great designs and you can kind of narrow your focus by searching for an image for example if we type in outer space we get a ton of really cool looking outer space images now let's say we find one that we really really like let's let's go ahead and grab this one and what we can do is we can just copy the prompt head back over to our prompt and paste and make sure that it has everything that we are really looking for. Let's hop over into fine-tuned models and let's select a custom model. Over here, we have the model that I created just based off of my face, but let's take a look at the platform models. Let's hop over to Dream Shaper as our first one and we'll generate with this model. We'll keep the Leonardo style on just to see what it looks like and we'll click generate. We're only gonna generate one picture here and this is the image that we got, pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like if we turn Leonardo style off. Click generate, pretty interesting looks relatively the same. So now that we have a good understanding of what Dream Shaper could look like, let's hop over back into selecting a custom model and let's click on something drastically different like Deliberate 1.1 and we'll generate with this model. Keeping the prompt exactly the same, we'll generate and see what kind of result we get. Nice, and this is the image that got generated under Deliberate. Let's try that Leonardo style one more time. Interesting. And that's the result with the Leonardo style. Now hopping back into custom model, let's go for more of a pixel art look. We'll generate with the pixel art model, keeping the prompt exactly the same, turning off Leonardo style and generate. Super cool. So now we have something that's drastically different than the other version, pixel art. Now, maybe when you're working with something like pixel art, you don't want to use words like ultra detailed illustration or highly detailed at the end. Maybe if we remove those two parts, we might get a very different look. Similar concept, but just a little bit different. We'll go ahead and add those two back, hop over into custom model. But now let's hop over into community models. Over here, we're gonna see models that were generated by the community. So first up, we have the Illustration V2, paper art style, or even Luna. Luna kind of looks like a Pixar art style type of thing. You can see 49,000 different types of images that were generated in that style. We're gonna click generate with this model, keeping the same exact prompt, hit generate. Now, before we move on to the next one, I just wanted to let you guys know that less than 2% of people who watched my last video actually subscribed, which is crazy. So I thought I'd just go ahead and ask if you want to see more content like this, just scroll down, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and the YouTube algorithms will guide you in the right direction to see more stuff like this. All right, thanks. Back to the video. And would you look at that? It's a drastically different look and it looks Pretty cool to me. Now let's see what happens if we take Luna and add a Leonardo style to it. Hit generate and it created this guy and it looks like he doesn't have any eyes. So that one's kind of weird, but the background nebula looks really cool. Now let's say we like this character and we wanted to add eyes to it. What we would do is we would come down here and take it to the canvas. Now this is something that really sets Leonardo apart from everyone else. You can actually edit whatever you want to edit. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna draw a mask. Let's say we're gonna put a mask right over his eyes. And over here we can type in evil space devil eyeballs glowing in fire. Let's see what it does. And it, it did that, but we generated four more options. Let's see what our options are. Well, this one's workable. Let's accept that. And let's say we want to make him more into a cyborg. So let's go ahead and mask out his arm here, maybe the other arm as well. And let's say cyborg robot arms generate. And just like that, we have four options for cyborg arms. I like this one. Let's lock that in. And once we're done, we can just hit download artwork. 
So I hope that gives you a good idea about all of the different types of models that we can play around with and the subtle differences that you can expect. It makes a big difference to your actual image that gets generated, even though you kept the prompt exactly the same. If you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.